So when one is working hard to tell their story, they use their own uh, vision and experience and values to tell their story. And so you may go in to a film and expect to hear audio, but I encourage you to look at the film and see beyond that. A lot of the stories that you'll see are ne not necessarily related to the ability to hear or not. A lot of the stories that you'll see are really connected to being human. Never heard of it. It's the new Justin. Look, calm down, all right? No need to heal. Excuse me? I've never really felt pigeonholed myself, I would say. I feel that I am a person who has developed fully, that I use ASL to communicate, and I've been able to do that. Well, as show mentioned, that these, char act these characters have been written as hearing characters, and then you're able to go in and then and be a deaf actress and make them a deaf character. And so, how does that work? I mean, my agent has basically limited me to deaf roles. And the more work that you do, then the easier it will be. You know, they can say, okay, you're Russell, and you are an actor who happens to be deaf. It's not, you know, a deaf actor that they're necessarily looking at, but they're looking at you based on your skills. So, and I think, you know, it's a team effort, and I think, you know, I'm looking at the team that can believe in me, and they'll say, well, an actor that um, happens to be deaf came in to audition for a role that is not for a deaf character. So, you know, I'm lucky that I have had that experience, and they've been willing to work with that. I mean, I hope that it's worked, going. right? Yeah. The long rest of the deaf community along with them. I think really the next barrier that we need to address is having deaf writers on hearing TV shows and in hearing films. That's right having deaf writers there, because who better to tell our story than deaf people themselves? But I would say my real desire is to be able to see more deaf people get a professional training in films so I can work with them. They didn't see all of her signing. And so there is a difference between the deaf and hearing eye, and a difference that um, we now can have an opportunity to show people and educate the hearing community a better way, actually best practices of working with editing within that process and the filmmaking process as a whole. And I look forward to that day when that happens and I do see that it's changing. I see the evolution, but we must do our own art and we need support. We need support from the community at large. And when I say the community, I mean the world, the hearing world, the world at large, to support and recognize our artwork and to appreciate our art and allow us to have those opportunities to present that. It's a learning experience. We want to raise our standards. You don't see that many deaf filmmakers. Out in the world, you just don't see that many. And hopefully, when we start a, a project like this, and we start small, it's only a six minute, 30 second film. It's short. But hopefully it'll have impact and inspire other people who are young, want to become filmmakers, want to be involved in movie making. Hopefully it'll inspire them to become filmmakers themselves.